This is Loris Saratoga, Saratoga Bay Laurel. Uh, you're looking at an example of it used in a group planting in Northern California. This is in um, Pleasanton, California, where a warm inland valley uh, near San Francisco Bay. In the summer, we get in the uh, 90s to 100 Fahrenheit, and in the winters, uh, low 20s are typically our lows. Uh, this, what I've read about this is that this is hardy to around 20 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, there's a good look at the trunk of the tree, by the way. It has a nice smooth gray bark. And you see how the stems here are very green. Um, that's typical until they, you know, they're a couple of years old. Uh, they have this green um, appearance, so they look much like the leaves. Also notice the... Uh, type of leaf. It's just a nice oval leathery leaf, a nice shade of green, a little waxy. And then these are flower buds. This is in November and these bloom heavily during the winter and they have a creamy yellow bloom. Um, here's a, a, a shot pulled away a little further so that you can see. One of the things to look at is you see how uh, at the edge of the canopy you see all these shoots. Um, what had happened is they had kept these trees very tight for a number of years and then in the last two years they've just let them run. And uh, because of that you're seeing two to three foot growth shoots of one year. And so they're, you know, these trees I believe are about 15 years old or so. And uh, now that they're, they've let them fill in, they kind of kept them pruned a little tighter, almost like a lollipop. Um, the last couple of years, they've let them go, and they've uh, become a very nice shape, kind of a conical form. And um, as I said, they're getting two to three feet of growth per year right now. And the height on these is about 25 to 30 feet. And um, I'd say 15 to 20 feet wide is uh, the width on those. And here's another angle. So very dense, uh, good looking, dark green tree, very clean appearance, does not fruit, um, and uh, uh, really good for the type of use. They've used it here as a windscreen at the edge of a sports field. And because of its density and its height and the spacing that they gave it, uh, it's worked very well uh, as that windscreen and gives them afternoon shade along the edge of the field while people are watching sports they can sit in the shade. So I like this tree as an evergreen screen or um, usually that's how I'm using it. In residential use which is what I typically am doing uh, I think it's very appropriate as a you know a larger evergreen tree um, we don't have a lot of great options in our area for evergreen trees of this size. What I also like is that it doesn't get uh, huge like many other trees. So this, uh, you know, 25 to 30 feet tall by 25 feet wide or so is a, is a very useful size I find in design. And uh, otherwise you're getting into larger trees like Podocarpus and Quercus and things that are also, uh, the Quercus tends to be, um, uh, Quercus agrifolia tends to be a messier tree because of the acorns and the leaf drop. These do not do a large leaf drop yearly like the, uh, the oak does and I think that that's one of the other reasons I like them. I think in terms of trees it's a pretty clean evergreen option and there aren't a lot of those as I said for this size. Um, I think I mentioned this already, but these are hardy to around 15 degrees Fahrenheit and uh, take the inland heat just fine. Also very drought tolerant once established, so uh, good in that way. And um, yeah, I think that's what I can tell you about Laura Saratoga. Really nice tree, does not have the uh, pest issues that uh, Grecian Bay does some of the scale and other things. Um, I've really never seen that on these trees and I've been watching these trees for a good 10 to 15 years and they've just been uh, really nice performers with no visible signs of problems. So that is Saratoga Bay Laurel, Loris Saratoga.